Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be doing part two of our toolbox in Solid Camp 2011. We'll start off our first operation with this slide over here. So I'll create a new operation in Toolbox Cycle, and this time we'll use the option of Simple Slot, where the tool will go from one end goes across and then just simply comes back, covering this entire s slot. You'll also note that there again, there are no arrows on the lines, so the direction does not make a difference. Choosing our geometry is just as before, our first line, our second chain, and we're done. Again, choosing a tool, we'll choose the 10 millimeter and mil, and the levels, just as before, will be going up until that level over there, 10 millimeters. In my technology field, these are the only parameters that we need. Our step down, our wall offset, our floor offset, and the extension of how much we want our tool to go past the edge of our chain. We do save and calculate and run our simulation in the top view you'll see that the tool goes down, across, and then back over to the other side. For our next operation, we'll be working on this closed slot. So again, we'll start a new operation, and this time, we'll choose the option of closed slot. Now, in this particular case, our geometry is around the edges of the slot, and the actual toolpath will be the exact middle of the slot. In other words, in this case, the tool itself must be the same diameter as the width of the slot itself. The toolpath will actually work in a zigzag motion going down. We'll first start by choosing our geometry, and our geometry will be, as I've showed you before, around that edge. The tool, again, will be my 10 millimeter and mil. Levels, same as last time, up until that surface over there. And in my technology area, we have our step down. Let's make our step down every two millimeters. And, of course, we have floor offset. If I were to do now, save and calculate and simulate. And this time we'll use the isometric view in our simulation. You'll see that the tool, and I'll put this slowly, goes down, back and forth inside that slot. And at the end, it finishes off the bottom pass of that slot itself. In our next operation, we'll be doing this closed slot over here. So again, we'll start a new operation in Toolbox Cycle. And this time, we'll use the option of Spine Slot, as shown over here. In this particular case, the tool will go down the middle, and then off to the side, clean one side, go out, and then clean the other side and turn out from that area over there. The geometry in this particular case is the top lines over here, the top chain over here. And this is left open. We do not choose that area at all. We'll start by defining our geometry. And you know, it doesn't even have to be the exact same shape, but as long as the width is the same all along, it can be used. We'll start from here, and we'll do it automatically up until this edge over here. That's our geometry. Our tool, again, will be using the 10 millimeter and mil. Our levels, same way as last time. And in our technology area, we basically have the same parameters again. We have our step down, we have our spine tolerance, because what's happening actually is, as it goes from one area to the next, it actually measures a distance of 2.5,
and then creates a two path exactly between those two points. So all the two paths are really G1. We have our retract height, wall offset, floor offset. Let's take a look at our simulation. And again, we'll view it in our top view. You'll see that the tool goes back and forth in this area and clears out that entire slot. Thank you for joining us in SolidCam Professor on part two of Toolbox in SolidCam 2011. Take care and have a nice day.